Hi, this is Keiko from Brooklyn Shoe Space. How are you? Um, it's a little cold over here today for Shoe Talks. We're inviting Sean Mosley from Georgia. I hope it's really warm down there. Um, here we go. He is a cowboy boot maker and leather maker. Um, I met him down in Savannah when there was a Shoemakers Hope Forum. Hey, Keiko. Hello, how are you? Oh, I forgot my headphones. Can you hear me okay? Yes, ma'am. Can All you right. hear me okay? Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for joining me. Yeah, absolutely. Sorry. Yeah, you're gonna have Hi. to. Hi, oh, who's this? <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hi there. Are you also doing a home home schooling yes. situation? Well, Tomorrow, yeah, I'm what? going to school. You're not yeah, so, going to school. Yeah, the oldest one, he's doing a split schedule. So he goes to school two days a week um, and then virtual the rest. And yes. the little one, yeah, she goes to school when she feels like it. So. <laughs> <laughs> yes, totally. So you look really busy and you also have a storefront and everything. So tell us a little bit about how you started. Sure. Um, so I started my Leathercraft journey or started learning about Leathercraft and around 10 years ago. Uh -huh. um, and through the years, it's kind of been like my pastime hobby. Um, so I haven't been a full time leather worker all those years. Um, but I kind of started with um, with uh, Justin Fitzpatrick's. You guys know the uh, the shoe the snob. Um, yes. So I started following his blog. Uh huh. Uh, I started following his blog, and that introduced me to the bespoke world. Um, uh -huh. And from there, I I got um, got hooked on YouTube, and you know, kind of started following. Um, hold on, baby, you gotta sit still. Um, <laughs> and started following all of um, the videos that are on there, particularly uh, Andrew Wrigley's. Um, video series that he did where he made uh, a pair of shoes uh -huh. um, pretty much uh -huh. you know it's finished it's dark. You gotta stop it. yeah did you also learn with um lisa sorrell's videos yes. yes and i'm sorry absolutely yeah so that um with lisa sorrell's videos um i learned pretty much yeah definitely well with that and with uh the hc the hcc um forum yeah and there used to be another forum online the bootmakers forum um but yeah through all of those yeah. uh series yep um yeah pretty much you know it's trial and error for me so um yeah but yeah and lisa sorrell's video you, he, and she still sells it today it is wonderful i mean from start to finish yes. it's clear um and you know you have to uh adapt some of the tools to fit you um because you might yeah. not be able to to afford everything that she has, but right. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah. Did Did you have to do everything by hand initially? Like you don't have any machinery, or how How did you start? Like when did you and start get, acquiring equipment? Do you have equipment? Yes. So I started. It's okay. Um, so I started. He's so cute. With, thank you. Uh, no, baby, I have to hold it. So I started. Um, with mine and as well so i bought the lisa sorrell video and then um i started buying a lot of the tools that she has for sale um so a lot of the hand tools i got uh initially from lisa um and then i started picking up tools um off of ebay you know kind of everywhere i've been able to find a few things around here in antique shops um uh -huh. but yeah, for the most part. And then the machines, um, I've got two Cobra machines. So I've bought a couple of Cobra machines. I have uh, a heavy duty uh, cowboy stitcher for, that I use for uh, for bag stitching and for side uh -huh. um, And my uh, sander, I just modified uh, a belt sander and put, uh -huh. um, you know, a shop back to it. Yeah. Or a um, oh. Dutch uh, yeah. collection to it. Um, how how old is your daughter? How old are you, baby? Say like three. <laughs> when when did we see you down in Savannah? Was that 2018, 2017? 
Yeah, that was when? 2017. Yeah, when we had that, uh, the form here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. She was still a baby or she was maybe not born? No, so she was born. April. No, she's June 1st, 2017. Um, yeah, so she would have just been born. Wow. Well, when did yeah. we have that form? Was that? In I thought it was in August, May. September? Oh, was it August? Okay. I don't remember now. But yeah. Wow. Yes. Yeah, so she would have been, yeah, a little, a little baby. But now she's you, a lot more active now. So <laughs> yes, I bet. Have you made Have you made any boots for the little ones? Not yet. Um, I, so for them, I'm just you know I'm. And there's nothing wrong with it, but I'm I'm buying them their boots because they, oh yeah, yeah, uh, you know they grow so fast. Um, yeah. By the time yeah I finish, they'll be <laughs> on to the next size. Um, yeah. 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 Yeah, so tell us a little bit about how, when did you open your workshop where you have, you know, where you are now, um, and where in the city is it? Um, is it in Savannah? Um, it's here in Pooler. So Pooler is a suburb um, of uh -huh. Savannah. It's right down, it's like five, I'm yeah, about five, ten minutes away from uh, okay. downtown Savannah. So it's okay. in, yeah, real close proximity. Um, we're in the same county. Um, but, we yeah, we get a lot of, we Yeah, we get a lot. Or the store so far has gotten a big draw in, in, in Savannah. Yeah, do you think you can show us your, oh, your studio? Yes, absolutely. All right, let me make sure I'm showing it. All right, so can we give them a tour? Can we give everybody a tour? Yeah. Can you see okay? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so the front half of the store is kind of the retail space. Uh-huh. Oh, I got to go slowly, yep. Are right, you mm -hmm. going to have to do the, um, the MTV, the house tour where you kind of rewind it and speed it up <laughs> put some effects to it yeah i don't i don't edit anything so it's all live but oh okay. look at the boots lined up are those all the boots you made up there yeah yeah well from the last two pair here on the right or um on loan from customers that i made some okay. boots for um, okay yeah they're letting me display them in the store for right now um and then everything to the left of that is are my boots um yeah, can and we can we store, do a little close up? Yeah. So the store has pretty much turned into a second closet for me. <laughs> you come right. to the shop to wear your shoes. Yeah. Yep. I see. Yep. yep. That's uh -huh. pretty much what I do. So I come in and switch out Are you okay? your boots. Uh huh. What's the height that you like the most? It seems like most of them are very similar heights. Yeah, I like um, uh, twelve inch. Twelve inch. Yeah. 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 And then yeah. this is the back. Mm -hmm. So I, got, uh, I just recently, this summer, picked up the Singer 3115. Okay. So How is it, how's that going for you? Oh, I love it. It's, it's working perfectly. Um, I did have to put on um, another reducer. Um, but yeah, it works perfectly in the roller okay. of course. Great. And then this is uh, the Cobra class uh, 18. Uh -huh. That's uh -huh. probably the machine that I use the most. Uh huh. Are you are you a lefty? No. No. No, you're not a lefty. Yeah. Okay. Maybe it's the camera. Is it a is it a left arm? Is there a say that one more time? Is it the left left arm? Like the arms are coming from the left? No no no. No, they're no. all uh, coming from all the left. right, okay. I think the camera was flipped. Okay. I see. Oh the dies. Uh-huh. Yes, the dies. Um my work then. Uh-huh. Yeah. Get up, Marco. That's so great. I love it that you have the kids in your uh, your workshop. They, oh, yeah. They yeah, learn, they love it. <laughs> they learn to be around all the tools, you know? 
Yes. No, and they're they're already starting. So my son he made a pair of Mitch match earrings the other day. And Ooh, he put I them on the rack. And a guy came in and bought them. I was like, Oh my goodness. And I didn't catch him when he put them up there. Um and I was telling him I, my you know, my son made them and he was like, No, I love them. He was like he was gonna give them to his daughter. Oh um, wow. Kinda, you know, tell the story. So yeah, they're they're starting to or well, definitely my son, he's starting to take up an interest in it. Um, which is good. I really love it. Um, yeah. So do you make all your boots like are you okay? Is that okay? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. D don't worry if you need to go 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 away for a second. But um so your boots you do everything hand welding, hand sewing, hand stitching. Yes. Except so, for the tops. Yeah, except for the tops. Um um using machine to do this uh the side um you know stitching side seams um, yeah yeah side seaming um and then yeah the end seaming and the outsole uh sewing yeah it's all done by hand you do it by hand wow yeah. Yeah. and how is um oh what was i gonna ask so so you do the side seaming by machine um What's the most the favorite part of your like boot making process? Oh, it'll probably be uh end seaming. So I love I love saddle stitching. Um Okay. Yeah, I love saddle stitching. Um and I you know, I do it pretty much all the time like when I'm doing wallets and stuff. So um uh -huh. yeah, for me, yeah. And then it forces me, you know, to sit still um for a while too. So I like Yeah. That. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the outsole, so you hand stitch all that as well. Okay. Yes. Wow. Do you have like a time dedicated for that? Is it like in the evenings? Do you do it in the mornings or no. any time of the day? Yeah, with the kids, I mean, it's you, you, you work whenever you can. Um, so it could be, um, you know, late at night or kind of in the morning. <laughs> I do try and tend to do it when, you know, they're asleep. Um, uh -huh. So usually, yeah, later nights or earlier in the morning. Right. Are you are you close? Do you live nearby your workshop? Yes, I'm literally like a mile and a half away. Um, oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah, for the most part. Um, yeah, um, and I still have a good bit of stuff at home in my garage. Um, so I, I'm still working back and forth between the house. Uh, right. And here. What's your favorite tool that you use? Ooh. Hand tool or equipment? <laughs> Probably my uh, scabbing knife. Oh, I want to see a scabbing knife. Or my Japanese scabbing knife. Okay. Oh. Can I see? Yes. Okay, yeah, 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 the Japanese knife. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, yeah, it's good okay. for scabbing. I use it a lot, you know, for, uh, for cutting, cutting out patterns. Um, but yeah, it's really a universal. Yeah. Uh, tool. Did you learn how to use it from somebody, or did you kind of pick it up? Um, no, I picked it up. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I I picked it up. Um, and I've I've seen videos of uh, of other makers using them. Um, uh -huh. but you know, it's one of those things where you, you just got to get a feel for it. So. Yeah. Yeah. Is there like a list of machines that you wish to like acquire in the near future? Ooh, or do you feel like wish list? Um, I would love to get let me see, what do I need? Headphones. No, I don't need headphones, buddy. Um we're talking tools. Um, <laughs> He's listening. Yes. Um tool wise, what do I need? I would love to get Mark, which tools do I need? I can never have enough sewing machines, so I would really like to get like a intermediate um, cylinder, um, kind of you know a lighter um, uh, stitcher because I I go from the clap, you know the walking foot to my big uh, cylinder sewing machine, so I would like to get uh, something in between, uh -huh. um, we'll, which would be easier to, to do, um, you know, kind of some bags. Um, uh -huh. And I would love to get, I'm doing a lot of like monogramming uh, right yeah. now, um, but I would love to get um, a Glowforge. So glowforge. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I want to do some, um, well, there, there'll be a lot of like earrings and um, right. like cutting boards and things like yeah. that I can do yeah. with it. Uh, but also I want to do um, some um, blue chalk patterns on it, laser engraved. Um, yeah. So, but yeah, that's in the future, not right now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, totally. I hear you. So you, you wouldn't want to get like a soul stitcher. That's not really something. That you, you like the hand sewing part? To, I would really love to um, to learn with somebody before. I had one, um, and then a guy made me a pretty good offer, and I sold it. I didn't really take the time to learn it. Um, but yeah, in the future, I would love to get it if I could get a little bit more space. Um, but well, space and knowledge. Um, so right. if I can, yeah, train under somebody to learn right. you know, how to how to use it efficiently, or effectively right. and efficiently, um, then you know I won't be intimidated by it. But I just yeah. I have comfort right now doing it by hand. Yeah. No, I hear you. Yep. Are you okay? Yeah. No, yeah. it's okay. It's that time of the afternoon. <laughs> You're the super dad. <laughs> so how long does it take to make a pair? Like I saw that you made on the top of your shelf. I saw the one with a like red collar. Yes. That was the last most recent one that you made or? No, the ones I'm wearing right now. Um, so the ones that are black with the um, diamond stitch pattern on them. Oh, can I see? Yes. Can we see? <laughs> oh, wow. Did you stitch all the diamonds too? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so I did. And then I used. Um, Almost like. Um, Quilting. The, yeah, so for, for these, I use the the walking foot machine to stitch them. Um, so, but yeah, I, I stitched that pattern. And the one with the collars were um, the second to last pair I made. Yeah. Well, for myself. Yeah. Do you feel not because you learn from multiple like videos and books, do you feel like you appropriated some like methods and processes and made it your own do you feel like you do you know if you do something differently from other makers not necessarily differently it's just um I, you know i like to experiment with you know everything that i see so i see um you know when we're cutting a hold path i've seen um you know some makers cut it at an angle i see um you know some um makers will cut uh, you know the uh, the 90 um, but yeah for me you know it's, it's trial and error so if I see it I'll try it um, and then what it, well yeah for example so like when we were here at the conference um, uh -huh. when Riddle was uh, giving his presentation he was talking about um, the counters and he yeah. mentioned yeah that he he uses the um, the horse butt yeah. and he glues it together um, yeah. because of, you know, the counters um, bursting when they get wet. So yeah. I, that night I, I ran home and I tried it um, and I made one and I've done a few pair like that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, for me, I'm not like set in, you know, a certain way of making, um, you know, I'm just pretty much trying to figure out, you know, what's best for me. Mm -hmm. And for you, like, is it always made to order at the moment? Yes, yes. Everything's uh, made to order. Um, we're starting, so right now I have got one uh, firm commit on an order, and then another guy came in last week to get measured. Um, so that should here be soon a pretty firm order. Uh, we're just working on, working through yeah. the design. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's 100% made to order. Um, yeah. So I guess with the retail space that you have, people walk in when you're working. Yeah. Yes. And, yeah. And yeah, so that, you have to kind of ha fill the space in a way. Do you sell like your all, all your goods, or do you have other people's goods as well? Or no. Well, at the moment, everything here, um, you know, is mine uh, That's that I've great. made. Um, yeah, I would love to do, like, my space really isn't big enough to do, you know, kind of, um, 
a collaborative okay. with some of the other makers here in the area, but I would love right. to get a bigger space and kind of have like um, a big, you know, collaborative workspace, uh, retail space where, right. you know. I feel like you have work. enough space. You have plenty of space, but that's just me from New York, you know. <laughs> How yeah. big is your space? It looks big. Here, it's uh, a thousand square feet. Um, that's but, big. <laughs> yeah, and you know, I, I, the only thing with having other people suffering here, um, you know, I'll always be nervous because the kids are running around. Right. Um, but right yeah. but you you have your space which is great and so that's why you kind of have to fill it and then you also have leather other leather goods can we see some of your work too in the yeah. shop yeah. yeah so it's you make bags yeah, um, sure. bags yeah. and um journal covers belts yeah bags journals wallets. yeah wallets um and i've been doing a lot of um like kind of custom work the only thing i i shy away from doing repair work unless it's uh -huh. really cool um, but yeah i did have somebody come in this week that uh -huh. had a, a knife uh belt combo that uh -huh. they want to restitch so i agreed uh -huh. to do that because i thought it was really cool um, right but yeah but I do, repair, um, do you do, do you repair your own own goods if if anything i guess yeah absolutely yeah so it hasn't like, broken um, yet <laughs> yeah well wow I've that's pretty resold, yeah um you know some of my own personal boots yeah um but yeah anything that i have made absolutely because you know i have comfort in knowing how it was made right. um yeah but yeah nice. and then i've yeah i've been playing around with uh some i don't know if you can see that wall art no yeah with it? some wall art um some uh -huh. leather wall art mm -hmm. um is it so, is it uh, mounted on like a frame and the... yes um so it's yeah stretch stretch uh -huh. over the uh, wood bars um and i had another big one up here that i did but it somebody talked me into selling it so okay that one is gone. um but yeah eventually i would like to you know kind of expand that to where i'm able to do and to help me practice kind of uh do some stitch patterns on them yeah. Um, and yeah, absolutely. You know, kind of have um, some traditional, you know, stitch patterns as uh -huh. as um, as Walmart. Yeah. So, oh, how how long does it take to make a pair of boots? Uh, for for me, yeah. So it is, you know, kind of the the standard, you know, forty fifty hours. It's just um, my boots kind of stretch out. So from start to finish, I could probably do a pair. Um, in like two or three months usually uh -huh. uh, so yeah i don't usually have time you know to work on them every day um, right between you know um um access and material getting material delivered to um, kind right. of work them when i can right yeah what's the favorite material to work with for you for me um well it's fall season right now so um, I've been wearing a lot of uh, pig suede, so and I, yeah, I, I, I love um, pig suede. Uh -huh. um, what's another material that we really like, Mark Edward? And in general, you know the oil tans. Um, so your Chrome Excel from Horling, yeah, I really love. Um, and you know, with the, I use a lot of that. It's really universal to boots to a lot of the smaller goods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nice. How cold does it get there? Sorry, I should just look these things up, but. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, right now, yeah, so it's not like freezing here, but we're in um, probably the 50s, 60s. But we get, it gets pretty cold. It's just the, the weather swings. So like last week was probably like 90 degrees. Um, wow. and then, yeah, and then pretty much overnight, it'll, it'll drop. Um, and then, you know, we get a cold front. But, right. Yeah. I see. I see. Okay. So pig suede. That's cool. Do you? Do you? Has anybody ever asked for like cowboys with shearling inside? Is that like a thing, or is that kind of like taboo? I don't know. <laughs> no, you absolutely do it. Um, it's just you probably wouldn't. You wouldn't see that here because 
of the weather, um, you know, once yeah. you start right. sweating, you know, right. it gets pretty bad pretty fast. Right. Um, but absolutely, yeah, you definitely could use uh, some shirling as a lining. Um, and it, it'll, it'll look just like um, how, or wool, kind of how your saddles look when they're lined. But it'll, right. it'll look like that. Wait. I think I'm asking that because I'm so cold. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have heat in here. <laughs> I can see my like. What? I can't How cold see is it, it but... for y'all? Oh no, it's um, it's about thirty something. Oh lord, yeah, <laughs> it's no, cold. That's... Yeah, so here when it gets um at like freezing or thirty four degrees, really, um, everything shuts down. So we've oh, got yeah. a lot of like rural areas where yeah, you know, you're you're ten miles from town. Yeah. And the power lines will freeze yeah, up. Yeah. You, know, you lose electricity. Um, but yeah, it's yeah, we're not prepared for cold at all. Um, <laughs> so talk to me. Tell me a little bit about your um, the logo. So is this the is this new? No, it's no. it's been the logo for a while. All right. So um, actually, I can show it to you too. Yes, please. Tell us a little bit. What does it stand for? All right, so yeah. Savannah River oh, Boots. Nice. All right, so I'm here. Well, we live here in Savannah or in the Savannah uh -huh. vicinity. Uh, the Savannah uh -huh. River, and we're a, a, a port city, so we're one of the biggest ports in the U.S. Uh -huh. um, so the Savannah River runs from pretty much the Atlantic. It's the channel uh -huh. um, that the boats take in. Uh -huh. um, to go to the port, um, but the Savannah River runs from um, here all the way to Augusta, um, and it runs through the town that I grew up in. So, right. and I live uh, a few miles away from the Savannah River, so we, we used to go there as children. Um, and then uh -huh. um, now, you know, here in Savannah, um, we're always downtown, kind of riverfront, you know, the riverfront you guys saw. Um, so that's, yeah. you know, a big, um, um, that's a big uh, tourist destination. It's you know yeah. a big destination you know for locals. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of homage to that. Um, and as well, um, my family, my ancestors, we kind of um, we l lived in this area. I'm originally I was born in Boston, but um, my family is from um, the Savannah area, about 20, 30 minutes away. Um, uh -huh. So it's homage to them because that would have been you know their their passage uh to the u.s uh -huh. yeah. um and the the dots or um yeah so you see like some dash marks that's kind of um you yeah. know, homage to stitching yeah so it's a stitch pattern going around yeah. it and um, the, yeah. yeah and the and arrows are yeah the arrows, I still, and I said I would come up with a meaning for them, but yeah, I still don't have a meaning for the arrows yet. They're just de decorative right now. Um, yeah, yeah. And a French hammer. So the French hammer is, yes, you know. Yes, French uh, hammer. Yeah. yeah that's, that's tool, uh, traditional to uh, shoe make. Yeah. Yeah. What's the aspect of a small business that you love? The aspect? Oh, my goodness. Um really i love you know um how no two days are the same so every day um is different and it's you know it's not predictable um so, so yeah. you know yeah. I've, I've worked in uh manufacturing for years and pretty much um especially early on you know you come in and you know exactly what you're going to be doing um yeah but yeah, I love being able to come in and every day it's, you know, a different day. You never know what's going to walk in um, or yeah. the crazy yeah. request that you're going to get. Um, right. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then definitely, you know, the interfacing with, um, with uh, customers or potential customers, um, you know, that come in. And yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. It's special. So um, I've had a retail space before too. So I was just curious if people just walk in. Are there many people that walk in? Like, is this like a in a busy area, or is it? Do you get yeah, interrupted so, while you work? Um. So. 
or a local like favorite a taco uh, shop. So our area, it's um, I'm in a like a small retail center. Um, uh -huh. but yeah, I mean, for the most part, yeah, you're able to, and a lot of times I'll have the door open, the music blaring. So yeah, people, uh -huh. I mean, you could you know, just come walk in. Um, yeah. but yeah, usually, and especially on the weekends, it gets, it gets pretty busy. Um, yeah, but yeah, I absolutely. Bet. I don't have like set hours or set, you know, um, or set appointment times. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. the typical uh, retail store. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, your kids are really patient, actually. <laughs> <Yeah>. um, <laughs> I'll pay for it. <laughs> where would you want to be in like three to five years? You gotta sit. Hi. Yeah. Oh, we gotta sit. You gotta sit. Hi. What's what? What about for your daughter? What's your fav? What's your favorite thing that your dad made? Blow. More coward. Technically, I like the Christmas evening, so they actually like Christmas Eve. Because one more month and it's Christmas Eve. Yeah. <laughs> no, wait, three more weeks. Three more weeks. Okay. Three more weeks we're in Christmas? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wait, what, what did well, he yeah, say? For he them wanted, because, he yeah, liked... the, gifts, the gifts never last until Christmas Day. So, they, ah. Especially when they go to Grandma's. Um, and Grandma knows uh -huh. it now. But, yeah, she'll put right. out gifts and then... Um, well, yeah. you only, you know, I, she'll say you can only open one gift, and then that turns into an everyday deal. Yeah, I saw the leather um, stockings. Do they? Yeah, I saw the leather stockings. Yeah, did you make one for them? Um, I made one for the baby for right now, um, and then I still have to make uh, my son one. Um, but that will be something. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna downsize them a little bit, and then that'll be something that we're gonna do. Um, on our craft nights where um, I guess, you know, to come in and make, make yeah. their own stockings. Christmas ornaments, kind of? Yeah. Um, I've, I still got to make some Christmas ornaments. Um, <laughs> I haven't made none yet, but absolutely. Um, yeah. yeah, I'll do yeah. some. I do a lot of coasters, so I'll pretty much uh -huh. use that same pattern uh, to uh -huh. make um, some ornaments. Just put some uh -huh. ornaments in them. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Do you think do you think you want to have them help you eventually in the future, like in your business, um, or do you feel like? Yeah, absolutely. Well, and uh, so I'm one of those parents where you know I don't I don't want to force it on them. Like I'll put um, you know guitars, acoustic, electric guitars. Um, you know, I just want them to be exposed to it. So I'll expose them to as much as I can and kind of let them, uh -huh. you know. Uh, make their choice. They, yeah, take interest themselves. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, for my son, he, you know, I, I, I try and take him with me as much as I can. So if I'm um, out, you know, doing shows, um, then, yeah. you know, he's kind of there with me. So just, you know, by yeah. nature of being around it, yeah, he'll, he's starting yeah. to take, uh, give their interest to it. Very cool. <laughs> does does he own a pair of cowboy boots? Yes. Is oh, he's wearing one. Oh. <laughs> he said these are traditional right cowboy here. boots. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought him. Uh, Very the cool. Yeah, the traditional. And these are Zara's. Oh, we gotta make sure mm -hmm. make it see. Nice. nice. Yeah, I see some turquoise. I yeah, it, yeah, so we're hers, yeah, it's, hey, it's I, a tan I, and turquoise. Wait, what's a tan for? I have turquoise. What's that? It's the leather is tan, baby. So yours is tan and green. I like tan and green. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Where do you think you want to be in like three to five years? Or even ten oh, years? Uh, three, you know, honestly, I haven't thought that far. <laughs> no, I mean, honestly, with this, you know, it's just kind of uh, one day at a time. Okay, I'm going to get that. I definitely know, you know, leather crafting in general will always be a part of my life. Um, and then it's, you know, it's long term, it'll be, you know, trying to make the best choice as far as, you know, 
location wise and then um you know kind of the best format um but that's yeah. kind of to you know your customer base so um you know the com customer base here you know continues to be um you know supportive then definitely you know we'll be here. that's great but yeah i mean we love the area uh, i think the farther side we'll probably venture would be like Atlanta. um uh -huh. but, yeah. would you go to would you go to any of the bootmakers roundups i have not been yet no um and I told Matt Defer, yeah, I was I was trying to figure out how to come this year. Um, but yeah, me and Matt, and it's an inside joke for us, but we, we've got a, a dance showdown to do. So yeah, Daddy. I, I definitely need to get the text. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, I definitely Daddy. do want to go. Um, it's just, yeah, you know, it's a little bit of a, a, little bit of a drive for us. Um, but definitely, you yeah, know, we're going to get out there. Yeah. Sorry, I'm like taking attention away from you. I know. Oh, <laughs> <Aww. laughs> yeah. Um, but your dad's doing a really cool thing, you know? That's really cool. I'm sure you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, wh what would you do differently? Um, actually, did you? Yeah, sorry, three to five years, like 10 years. Do you feel ah. like you want to be making more boots? Do you want to be making more leather goods? Or what's your favorite, you think? What kind of, do you want to keep on doing all of them? No, I don't want to. <laughs> now, eventually, I would love to, um, you know, to have a team where I can just solely focus on uh, on doing boots. Um, and that you know, with that, that just comes with the bat long. So if I could get a good bat long, um, then you know, then I can start finding uh, you know some help. Um, and then here in the shop, we've been doing like um, you know craft sessions where yeah. people from the community have been able to come and make. And truly, I mean, for me, you know, for them, you know, they're getting um, you know ultimately the benefit of going home with something that they've made. But, you yes. know, I look at it, too, as, you know, long term, you know, that's uh, our interview stuff, so, um, you know, and I've already had some people that have taken the class, you know, express interest in, you know, doing the work, you know, going forward. But, um, you know, it's, you know, it's a good way to kind of, you know, source, you know, potential future, you know, uh, team members. Um, yep. And, you know, kind of the measuring tool for me is, you know, if when you keep coming back, they'll have got, um, you know, the item that you've made, which you're using it. And if you keep, you know, come in and showing interest, um, because, you know, with, with, with this craft, you know, that's what it takes. It's, you know, that kind of determination where, um, yeah, you, know, you, know, you, you can't just do it one time and say, um, yeah, you know, you're a leather maker, you know, but yeah, definitely right. if they, yeah, if I keep, keep people, you know, continuing to come back and show interest, um, then that's kind of how we'll, you know, figure out, um, you know, yeah. what our team will be looking for. Yeah. So I guess in a way, um, yeah, down the line, you like to grow a team. Yeah. Maybe yeah, even cool. apprentice or, yeah. 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 And teach what you know. Yeah. That's cool. And, and I mean, the good thing, like, you know, it's, it's, um, it, well, it's living art. So for me, you know, I'm still, I'm still learning myself. Um, so like, as of right now, you know, I don't feel comfortable um, because I'm not, you know, yeah. quite as knowledgeable yeah. as I want to be. Um, right. You know, to bring somebody in uh, full time to apprentice. Um, yeah. But yeah, yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. What would you do differently after the pandemic? Like After, settles. Yeah, um, you know, I wouldn't necessarily do anything different. I think, you know, we have shown that, um, you know, at the initial onset, you know, we were trying to figure out how to deal with it. Now we right. know, you know, just the basic things that we, you know, at a minimum should do, you know, to keep ourselves and everything, everybody else safe. So, you right. know, pretty much wearing a mask, yeah. uh, you know, using hand sanitizer. Yeah. Um, so kind of post-pandemic, yep. you know, I think that would be, you know, the nation's norm. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we're already doing that, so we're adapted to it. Yeah. Um, and can, can, um, can do it. go back to school? Yeah. Oh, no pay for it. 
offended. Ow. Okay, I'm sorry. What was you saying? No, it's okay. I was saying the kids will go back to school. <laughs> yeah. So, and then like my son is getting used to it. So my daughter's in daycare a couple of days a week. Um, so she's getting used to it. They're um. At, at this age, it's really difficult to do remote, you know, it's being online, like being in front of a device. Yeah, well, um, I, don't, I think my son, so he does it, he's adapted really well. Um, uh -huh. So they'll do, you know, the Zoom meetings where um, the teacher, you know, to see them, they can see the teacher. Um, but... Um, you know, I think the hardest thing is, you know, just for the working parents, you know, trying to, yeah. trying to make that all work. Um, but, yeah, for the kids, you know, they, man, they, they are, you know, resilient. So they, yeah. you know, they adapt very well. Yeah. Um, and I can tell they them. like being around you, I guess. I think, I think they see you work and I think they, they're, yeah. they're picking it all up. Yeah, well, they love being around me because they both have got like tablets, and they, for the most part, yeah, they're self-entertained. <laughs> if I force them to just sit here all day, yeah, they they would be yeah bored out of their minds. But um, but yeah, I mean, they they you know just kind of like hanging around the shop. They um, they both think they are in sales. So I've got two sales and marketing, you know, yeah. here. They they, are, they greet the customers. Oh my goodness, yes. Yeah, so if you come in, yes, you are going to get overly loved. Just oh, that's great. <laughs> that's great. Now they just have to learn how to measure people's feet. <laughs> yeah, well, no, they got to see me do it last week. So, yeah, they, they both sat here. Um, and the guy was nice enough to where, you know, he, he, he was patient. Um, so, but, yeah, they were more helpers. They were writing down some numbers for me. Uh-huh. Wow, cool. I'm glad. I'm glad that they're around. That's wonderful. Is there somebody that you wish you can learn from, like any new techniques, or or is if there is like a like a wish list Daddy. of like teachers or classes Ooh, wish for okay. cowboy boot making? All right, definitely. Um, I mean, pretty much, you know, all the all the people we uh, follow. So I would love to. Um, <laughs> Um, work with uh, absolutely, you know, Lisa, Paul Krause, um, Matt Defer. We've I've already talked to Matt. Um, you know, we're gonna we're gonna plan um, to do a make session when we go out there. I want to learn how to make uh, three piece boots. Um, sorry, so sorry, I, can, I couldn't hear that one. What? Boots? I said, yeah, I want to uh, learn how to make the three piece boots. Three piece um, boots. Yeah. So Matt has already sent me um, a three piece pattern, and. Yeah, kind of our goal is when I go out to visit them, we're gonna we're gonna make a pair of boots. Um, That's cool. Yeah, but um, who else? Um, Stop. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's yeah, that's pretty much it for right now. Yeah. Um, Any other style of boots that you're? Yes, the triads that um, Paul does. I love them. Triads. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Get down, Ben. You gotta get down. Get down, Ben. Yep. Are you okay? Yes, ma'am. Yep. Yeah. I'm okay. okay. Do you need to give her a hand? No, you're okay. No, she's okay. This is one she's, she's okay. on the call. <laughs> <laughs> Did you make that apron too? No. Um, I I just sewed on the pattern on this one. Uh -huh. um, but I do have this. I got requests this week for some other aprons, so, so I'll have a batch of those coming this week. Nice. Um, and then I had an older gentleman come in that wants me to make him a couple sets of uh, leather suspenders. Nice. So, um, okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, so that'll be on the make list here soon, too. Uh -huh. Really cool. All right. What what are you working on right now? Like, do you have something, some shoes or boots that you're working on now? Yeah. Well, I've got. So I've got a mix. So I've got some little bags that I've been working on. Um, oh, I'm about to drop my phone. So like some little bags. Um, uh -huh. Yeah. So today I'm working on a few bags. I got to finish up a few uh -huh. uh, belts. Uh huh. Um, and then I've been 
I'm sorry, I'm about to get a little bit brighter. Yeah, so this is my sanding station. Oh, wow, okay. Uh-huh. And he has more water yeah. over there. And then, um, yeah, so these are some boot tops I've been slowly working on. Uh-huh. Um, okay, cool. I can't yeah. see the <laughs> details, but uh-huh. Oh, stitching. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Do you usually work on multiple pairs at a time? Um, yes. So I, I like to do usually around um, two pairs at a time. Um, but I need to finish those two before I start the other builds. Um, right. But yeah, I like right. to kind of do two, two, two pairs at a time. It just kind of helps, right. you know, with the dry time. And I offset, yeah. you know, the starts on them. Um, yeah. But yeah, it absolutely helps, you know, when the yeah. leather is drying to have something else. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And um, do you also work on projects for your own? Like, do you have time to work on your own shoes, own boots? Not right now. Um, you have I, plenty? I, I, I usually, I always keep um, a pair of um, leather insoles, like on my last, kind of ready to go for the next one. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, kind of the next ones I want to do for myself. Uh, I want to do um, a pair of veg tans. So I'll, I'll do something, you know, along that line. Uh -huh. um, and what are my other makes that I want? And then probably I've been looking at like a lot of uh, like printed leathers. And I've seen some pretty cool designs that I'll, I'll probably play around with some printed leathers and do a pair. Cool. Is that where where you get like your inspiration for yourself? Like, do you practice or think of something new for yourself first, and then try it out on your own boots? And um, well, my inspiration. I mean, it it comes, you know, from from well. So I'm a big um, Ralph Lauren fan. So I like a lot of like brown and blues that they tend to use. Yeah. Or. Um, so you'll see like a lot of the boots myself are kind of you know in that style yeah um and as far as like you know i didn't grow up around cowboy boots so i'm not you know familiar with you know a lot of the traditional patterns yeah so i'm kind of you know more open to um you know to using or styling you know everywhere it's just whenever i start for myself it's just you know whatever latest thing kind of influenced me then that's just kind of what it is so like right the, the pair with the collars i was in uh hobby lobby and i saw uh, uh a pattern or a stencil that had um kind of you know that pattern on it yeah so I bought some stencils and used that but. yeah oh very cool okay cool i'm looking forward to the next pairs the, the two other two pairs that you were working on is it for a client Yes, sir. Yeah, so those, I should be finishing those here pretty soon. And I'll start posting those. Yeah. Uh, yeah, looking forward to it. <laughs> oh, sorry. The, I feel bad that I'm taking you away from the kids. No, it's okay. They're okay. <laughs> Trust me, if we weren't on live, they would still be doing this. So this, yeah, this is, this is what we do. That's, um, I know, that's yeah, what that's we do. Perfect. I know, it's so lovely. I love it. I love this. I love it that they're around, you know, <laughs> send, send my regards to them. Definitely. Um, and I really look forward to seeing your new creations, you know, keep it up and, you know, the journey just seems like it started for you, you know? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Sorry. It looks like you're about to open back up another store, right? Uh, well, oh, not another store. Yeah. We shut down everything. So now I might open up again. I might, I'm going to open up again. Yeah. Yeah. Well, definitely. Yeah. So once you get back open, yeah, we'll have to make a trip up there and come visit you guys. Oh yeah. Thank you. Yes, please. Please do. And when, you know, Marcel has something down in, oh, now he's not in Savannah. So, but um, if there is any <laughs> makers, you know, meet up on the East coast, I hope I can make it. So I hope to see you there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for showing your space and the shop. Yeah. Good luck at the retail.
um yeah and i, I look forward to seeing every all the creations yes ma'am thank you stay warm go yeah, get warm so cold. <laughs> <I'm not laughs> i can't believe you can't see my white breath i can no, see my I white see, breath I, yeah i can see you kind of shivering there a little bit but yeah, go get warm. <laughs> I, I need to warm up all right thank you all right, bye, Kika. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye, bye Sean. Merry Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's so sweet. <laughs> All right, bye, y'all. Bye.